Bot Naked Diecast Racing Week. <laughs> Welcome back to the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Racing League Winter Wagons Tournament. Oh yeah, there's nothing like some station wagon racing to bring in the holiday season the right way. Absolutely, we had a great first race. We got four more drivers and wagons coming to you today. Let's take a look at the lineup for today's race. First up is Yeti Jones driving the Nissan G910 Maxima station wagon. Now that wagon looks ready to race. I think that's my favorite. Then we've got Rob Van Winkle nice. bringing some class to the race with the Cadillac CTS wagon. Our next driver is back from vacation or he's headed there. It's Clark Griswold driving the Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. Equipped with the fake wood paneling. That option was a must have. And finally spreading Christmas cheer is Buddy Hobbs in the red Volvo 850 Estate. This is a nice lineup of station wagons. Yeah, some good variety. Nissan, Cadillac, Oldsmobile, and Volvo. My dad was actually an Oldsmobile man. I thought he drove a Fiero. No, that was Randy, my mom's boyfriend. You know, I never heard anything about your dad. Me neither. Oh, well, uh, on that sad note, we'll start today's race. Here they go down the track for race one. Yeti Jones out in the lead. A close group around the ski lodge. Look at Griswold pulling into second. Rob Van Winkle falls back to third. Clark Griswold closing in on Yeti Jones. He's going for the pass right here. Yeti Jones blocks around the corner. And race one goes to Yeti Jones, followed by Clark Griswold. Buddy Hobbs takes third, and Rob Van Winkle will take fourth place. What happened to Rob? He started in second and ended up in fourth. I don't know. He probably needs to get with his team, stop, collaborate, and listen to them. That's some good advice. That was a good race for Yeti Jones in the white Nissan, but I think Clark Griswold is the one to look out for here. He started back in third, tried to take first place right here coming down the stretch. Yeti Jones just outmaneuvered him around this corner. It's going to be pretty hard to outcorner that Nissan drift wagon. Yes, that wagon is handling the track very well, nice and low to the ground. Here we go with race two, Rob Van Winkle starting off in the pole position. All right, VIP, let's kick it. Who's VIP? I have no idea. They're off for race two. Buddy Hobbs taking the early lead, followed by Clark Griswold in the blue wagon. That Oldsmobile looks fast. Griswold looking for the pass here. They're door to door around the corner, oh, side yeah. by side. And Griswold goes for the overtake around the fourth oh, oh. corner. Wow, he got him. Buddy Hobbs trying to catch back up with Clark Griswold. It's over. But it is not gonna happen. Clark Griswold takes the win on race two. Buddy Hobbs takes second, followed by Yeti Jones. Rob Van Winkle once again coming in fourth place. How do you go from the pole position to fourth place? I think it's called being a bad driver. That's ice cold 3D. Look at this exchange between Buddy Hobbs and Clark Griswold. Griswold goes high on the corner. That gives him the inside lane on the next turn where he blocks Buddy Hobbs. And that right there put Clark Griswold on top of the scoreboard. Impressive driving by Clark Griswold. Speaking of impressive, today's race is brought to you by ModelCarsHouston.com. They carry an amazing selection of highly detailed model cars that will take your collection to the next level. They also sell some sweet dioramas, figures, and accessories. You can find a link to their website, ModelCarsHouston.com, in the description, as well as a link to their YouTube channel. That's going to be two races down, two more to go. Clark Griswold has eight points. Yeti Jones, seven. Buddy Hobbs, five. Rob Van Winkle has two. And there they go down the track for race three. Clark Griswold once again in the lead. Wow, he is pulling way ahead. I don't know what's under the hood of that Oldsmobile, but that thing is fast. It may be the wood paneling. I don't know, but he's way ahead now. Look at that. Buddy Hobbs in second, followed by Yeti Jones. Rob Van Winkle once again in fourth place. Will he ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Clark Griswold will take his second win in a row, followed by Buddy Hobbs, Yeti Jones. And there's the answer to your question. Yes, Rob Van Winkle will stop. There must be a problem with that Cadillac. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. You're not a mechanic, today. No, but I flow like a harpoon daily and nightly. Okay, I think we filled our quota of Vanilla Ice references. I personally was hoping it would win so we could quote the entire song. Well, I am glad that's not going to happen. Ice, ice. Looking at the scoreboard going into the last race, Clark Griswold is in the lead with 13 points, Yeti Jones in second with nine, Buddy Hobbs one point behind him with eight, and Rob Van Winkle has two. The top two drivers will advance on to the final round. Who will join Clark Griswold? Will it be Yeti Jones or Buddy Hobbs? Clark Griswold and Yeti Jones in the front row. Here they go down the track for the final race. Clark Griswold once again, way out ahead of everyone else. Look at Clark Griswold burning some dust. Wow, no one stands a chance when Clark Griswold starts in the front row. It's now a race for second place. We actually may end up with a tie for second. If Buddy takes Whoa. second, Whoa, we just lost Clark Griswold. We got a wipeout. Here comes Buddy Hobbs and Yeti Jones. Buddy Hobbs takes first. That means Buddy Hobbs will advance on with Clark Griswold. They both have 13. 
to the final round. And that's another DNF for Rob Van Winkle. A tough break for Yeti Jones, missing out by one point. If Clark Griswold had finished this race, we would have had a tie for second place. But that flip right there opened the door wide open for Buddy Hobbs to come in first, giving him that extra point and securing his spot in the final round. Clark Griswold really pushing that Oldsmobile to the limits. And here's a look at the four finalists. We have Ralphie Parker in the Chevy Nomad, Jack Frost driving the Audi RS6 Avant, Clark Griswold in the Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser, and Buddy Hobbs in the Volvo 850 Estate. I can't wait to see that race. We thank you for joining us in today's race. Until next time, I'm 3D Botmaker. And I'm 2D. And we'll see you on the track. Hey, 3D, I got your call. I was thinking about what you said. There was something strange about the agency that hooked us up with Guy Fiery. What was that? Yeah, no, extra cheese on it this time. Extra. Dos queso. Dos queso. Si. Si. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, you may want to look into them. The company name was Future Enterprise Rapid Road Associated Race Industries. I don't know, but that sounds like a bullshit company name if you ask me.